<laughs> All right, good morning, everybody. Today is Dach uh, Ein Bez. Um, gonna be. So, uh, all right. So we left off yesterday. We had a question. A husband, a man is is, is engaged. Today's Ein Bez. So we left off with the question. We had a little, but before we got to there. So the question was. A man, he's uh, engaged to a woman, and it's yeah, Mazda. And we said, you know, as we read the halacha, that uh, you know, a, a, a woman's father, a woman's father and her husband, if she's an amarasa, they uh, revoke her, her vows together. So the question is, let's say he divorces her, and then he, let's say she's remarried or he remarries her, right? Him. Remarrying her, Lachar would be the most common case, right? Because I guess, you know, she's in love, they get a big fight, and then they divorced, and then they, okay, apologize, and it gets reengaged as opposed to her falling in love with another man, right? So on and so forth. Right. So the fact that he divorced her, so the, the question was, is that he divorced her? Is that considered to be he heard it? And he basically confirmed the vow. Or maybe it's just like a pause in this hearing and he has to the rest of the day. If he has to the rest of the day, then ultimately if he remarries her or someone else remarries her, then they can go ahead and revoke her vows later in that day. Or do we say that the fact that he heard it and then divorced her, that is, he's hakim, then he confirms the vow and therefore even if he remarries her and the father revokes it, he can no longer revoke. So that was the question. Tashma, come and listen. Top of Ayin Beis Amaral. And away we go. Tashma, Amosai Amru, Meis Habal Nisraik Narushus Labat. Laugh, excuse me. When do we say that if the husband dies, that his that his power to revoke goes to the, the father? Bizman Shalo Shama Baal. If the husband didn't hear him make the vow, oh, Shama Behavior, or, or the husband heard and he revoked it. Oh, Shama Vishasak, who Meis Babayom, or he heard it and then he, the guy died on that day. And if you want to say that divorce is just like a pause, in other words, in other words that the father can go ahead and revoke it later on. Why don't you listen to this case over here where the father heard and then he, uh, you know, then he divorced, excuse me, where the husband heard, then he divorced her. By the fact it doesn't list it, by the fact that it doesn't list it, by the fact that it doesn't list it, it must be that the father can no longer revoke it. Why? Because it must be that if he divorces her, it's like he's confirmed the vow. So Gemara says, okay, that's a good, that's a fair deal. However, in the Sefer, let's look at the, the Sefer that Bryce It says about Im Shama the Kayef. If the husband heard and then he confirmed it. Oh, Shama the Shasa. Or let's say he heard it. He was quiet. And he died the next day. Then the father can no longer revoke it. And if you want to say that divorce is tantamount to basically confirming, why does it say, if the husband heard and then he divorced her? Ella, by the fact that the Savior doesn't say, he doesn't say, it must be that if he, if he just hurries it and divorces it, the father can go ahead and still revoke it all on his own. Right? So Shvamina Gersh and Gishtiga Dama. Ella Meha like a Lamash Mina. Rather, we can't go ahead and learn from the Raisha or the Seifa. Why? Because the Raisha Dafka, if the Raisha purposely you know, excluded the case of Gershin, I know it's because it wasn't true there, then Asik Seifa uh Mishim Raisha, then the reason the, 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 uh, uh, the reason why that the Seifa didn't list the case of divorce is because we don't want to start with divorce because the Reisha didn't list that case. And he's Seifa Dafka, and if the Seifa was Dafka that we couldn't include divorce because divorce is uh, like confirming, the Reisha, Mishum Seifa, therefore it also left out Gershin because of, the, because of the, the Seifa, and therefore we can't, we don't know which one is the exact Lush and Reisha Seifa, and therefore there is no proof as to what happens if he's Shama, the Gersha, and then divorces her. So let's try another one. What, what's the case if they don't hear on the about the vow on the same day right so actually we're, we're going to get to that but if if it's the same husband right and the and the, as i was actually talking to Rabbi Reese about uh during the evening or after that right so if the father hears it on one day and he revokes it on that day and the, even the husband hears it the next day mm -hmm. right then lachara that is it that oh, is that, revoked oh okay. right but over here, so we'll soon see, but it's only if they were talking about an Oris Achram, 
right? That his that him coming in, right? But that's a special situation. But normally in that case, that would be okay. And over here we're talking about the same one. So let's see over here now. Tashma, come and listen. Nadra Arusa. Let's say a woman made a nether and she, while she was in Arusa, and his garsha, and then she got divorced. And then she got re-engaged or re-betrothed on that day. Even a hundred times. Her father and her husband can revoke the, and her, her last husband can revoke her vows together. Right? It must be that divorce is just like a pause. It's like he's, he's quiet, not confirming. Why? Come dummy. Because if it was considered that the first husband heard it and then he divorced her, yeah, come on, dummy. Right? Then why can well, well, why can they go, go ahead and be revoked at the end? Mm-hmm. Right? So, uh, right? How could they go ahead and the last Aras go ahead and revoke vows that were confirmed by the first one? So, so it must be so that divorce is not confirmation, rather, it's just pausing. It's Shtika. So, God says, no, maybe that's not the case. That's why it's getting Shlai Shama Aras. Right? We're talking about a case of where the Arus did not hear. So Gemara says, if, in other words, if, we're not talking about a case where he's Shama the Giresh, we're talking about just Giresh. He never heard it, even though she might have made the vow, but he never heard it. Uh, so, if that's the case, why does it have to be on that very day? Right? Why don't you say that even after 100 days, right? In other words, why does it have to be that she got re-engaged that day? If the, 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 he never heard it, the husband, the Aras Rishon, so it's like just like any other case, a woman makes a vow, and then 100 days later, the husband finds out about it. He revokes it then. Why, why, why do you have to see Bobo Yom? So and my answer is no. Shalai Shama Aras. The Aras didn't hear. The Shama Av and the father heard. The Bobo Yom Umatsi Mayfair, because it's only on that day, since the father heard on that day, so therefore, the husband, right, the husband, Aras uh, Acheron, only on that day, he can he revoke it because he can't revoke prior vows. But after that, he wouldn't be able to go ahead and revoke it since it was already heard by the father and he's considered to be the Aras Acheron. And Tashma, come and listen. Nadra So if she made another on that day, the gear shot, he, he, he divorced her, the Zira, and then he, he remarries her, or Ein Yachal Lehefir. He can no longer revoke it. So Shmami Na must be Gerish and Kakama Dami. We must say over here that the, 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 the divorce is like Hakama, confirmation. Sabri Hacha, the Nesua Askina. Over here, we're talking about Nesua. In other words, maybe she got divorced from the Suin. It's not considered to be Oros Acheron. Since it was the Nesua, the then you can't go back to previous vows, right? Because once a husband goes ahead and re-engages her, that's considered to be kaiman. That was she had a prior in a uh, in a full marriage, not just in an heiresim, but in a nesuin. And therefore, since it was in a prior marriage, he cannot he can no longer revoke uh, kaiman in that case. Fine. Turn the page. Nayim mission. The way of the Tamil Chachamim, a righteous way to do it is that when the, the daughter is, is turning, you know, she's 12 and a half, she's basically leaving his house. She's going to go ahead mm-hmm. and, and let's say into, even into her marriage. Basically, the, the, the father, because once she has previous uh, uh, vows and she's in a Nesua, then she's no longer uh, able, th- those aren't able to be revoked by her husband. So what does the father do? He says, you know what? You're going to go ahead and become an Nesua now. Go ahead and I'm revoking any vows you made while you were an armed wrestler under, you know, in, in my house. Well, you can do, why is it? He, he, didn't, he, he didn't hear about it, right. So he's just saying, so is he, he making a general statement? The Gemara is going to ask, well, don't you have to hear it? That, that's, going to be the question. that's going to be the question of the Gemara, right? But right now he's saying, any vows that you made, revoked. So to the husband, up until right, right before he goes ahead and takes her as a Nesua. He says, call Nadarm Shinadarta. Any Nadarm that you made while you were in Arusa, those are going to be uh, nullified and revoked. 
And she didn't have a I didn't have Because once she goes ahead and she becomes his Mesua, his full fledged wife, he cannot revoke previous vows, right? That's the main thing to remember, right? When she's in Arusa, right? You can revoke vows that were kaiden, right? That would go to the Pesukim. But when she's in Asua, you can't go ahead, even though the, the, the husband has full rights over to revoke. He's no longer found in the picture. But what he doesn't have is the power of a codeman. So therefore, oh, so he doesn't, right? He doesn't, he didn't even hear about it. He didn't know about it. So let's see, the Lord is going to ask him this. So that was the case. So the father does this, 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 this shtick, right? Whatever you want to call it, right? And the um, and the husband does it. So the Gemara, so boy, Rambam Rachama, Baal Mahu Sheyefir Bloy Shmiya. Can the husband go ahead and revoke a vow without hearing it? So the pasuk says, "V'shama Isha," right? And it's heard by her husband, right? Isha. Right, if Ozzy was right. here, you tell me how to do it with the dog, right? right? Oh. Hey, right? Her oh. husband, right? Her husband hears. So, Dafka, so we say, so Dafka, who? Allah Dafka. Doesn't mean literally he has to hear it, or it's, just, it, it's not Allah Dafka. He has to, you know, if, 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 if she made a vow and he hears it, even if he doesn't hear it, it's no big deal. He can go ahead and revoke it. So, Marava, Rava says, okay, I got a good proof, right? You ever learned Mishnayas? Let's look at our Mishnah. Tashma, come and listen. There, come and come, actually. That's the Bitoy Me'etzlo. Before the daughter goes and leaves his house, right? So I'm a law conduction of that. Say, basically, hooray, hey, Mufar, right? Any in the Dharam that you've made in my house, right? While you're in Arusa, those are Mufar, those are revoked. I have a holo shama, right? So he uh, he never heard it. So the law answers, right? So, uh, right, so Alice mm-hmm. is going in point. So the Chishama, who the Mayfair, right? So he says, no. Only when he hears them, right, that's when they actually come revoked. In other words, he's making a statement now, all right? Normally, what happens? You have three things, right? The proper word is she makes a vow, he hears it, and then he revokes it three steps, right? Over here, right, he's, right, th- those three standards you need. So they're out of order here now. We're talking about a case of where he basically does the revoking, and then later on, when he hears it, then they're revoked. <clears throat> All right. So same king. Kilo shama lamali. All right. So kilo shama lamali the If that's the case, right? Why does he need to do it now? Just do it then. So I'll come ashlam. The archei the tzumim rabbanu the haduray. Right. This is the way what they do it. This is the 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 derech al tino come to do it. In other words, they'll make the the they'll make the statement now, and therefore when they hear about it later, it will be revoked. So Tashma, come and listen, another proof. Does he have to hear it or not? So me to save it. Let's go a little and save it. Right? So to the husband, Ajla Tikan is the Shusa right? He says, there, okay, any the that you made, you know, while you were in your father's house, while you were Mares says, those will be revoked. Right? And over there, he didn't hear him. So so to over here, we'll give you the same terrors. We'll say, oh, when he hears, that's when they're revoked. They're not revoked before he hears it. He has to hear it, right? But once he hears about it, then they are revoked. So Tashma, come and listen. Any someone says to his wife, any nadarim that you will make, actually have a mula complaining. In other words, let's say the guy is going out of town for three months. So he says, any nadarim that you make while I'm gone, until I return to this place, they are confirmed. Low marklum. You can't. That doesn't work. You can't confirm something without she never made it. Okay. Hare hey Mufarad. He says, I'm not going to be back for three months, and any Nadaram that you make are going to be revoked. Hare Mufarad. Rabbi Liazar, I mayor Mufar. It does work. They are revoked. I, Bahalo Shama. So he didn't hear it, right? So he makes this, tells the generic person, I'm coming back April 1st. So he tells the statement, okay, uh, they're all revoked. Um, and Lechaira works. So even though she makes it in February, but he didn't hear it when he made the statement in January. He means when I hear it, then they will be revoked. So I have a lamely mean hashda. Why do you got to do it now? So the answer the chi shama li for la. So the lamely mean hashda the chi shama li for la. I understand why you have to make it now. Just say when you return back, if you hear that she made a vow, go ahead and revoke it on that day they hear it. So except Dilma Matrida Hayishai. Right, perhaps he'll be busy during that moment. He hears mm-hmm. it. He doesn't have the opportunity to do it, and therefore he'll forget. And therefore, it won't be revoked because it won't be the same day. Now, he's making the statement, 
And once he hears it, it'll automatically be revoked. He doesn't have to go ahead and re-revoke it. Can we revoke it in front of her? No, so not, because we're saying that he's Tarek, right? Lachari, that's, that, that's what we're saying here. Because if, if that's the case, he has to re, re, uh, revoke it, right? Or re, revoke it, then, uh, you know, then what does the, the Tarek do, you know, when he's Tarek? Right. So, right, when you say the Hataras the, the, right? So, you, from, right. So, this, even though you're making, right, that's a little different. That's Hatara versus revoking Hafara. It's, you know, the, the, the mechanisms are a little different. So, Tashma, come and listen. A guy says to his watchman, once again, he's going on a long voyage, several years. He needs someone to watch over his estate and his wife. Any nadarm that my wife makes, mikan ga'ad shabam from now until when I return in two years, hey fear, right? Go ahead and revoke it. Is a uh hey fear law, right? Uh, go ahead and revoke it. So you might think that it's considered to be revoked if this apichopus goes and revokes it, even though he's right, he was told to do it. Tamaloimar, therefore it says, Isha Yikimenu. It says Isha Isha Yifirenu, right? It's only the husband, leader of Yeshia. So it says Rabbi Yeshia. So it has to be, right? Huh? Ah, so, yeah, so let's see. So let's see. So you, you, you go ahead and revoke it for Summer Lloyd, Rabbi Yonasan says, Rabbi Yonasan, Rabbi Yashia, I'm not seeing the Bechot Harak, who loves the Bechot Harak, I understand. What's your, what, 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 what's your limit over here? We, we know normally the Bechot Harak, who loves the Bechot Harak, a person can go ahead and have someone become his Shaliyah. Why can't the husband make this happy choice to become his Shaliyah? Right? It's only because this one limit of Isha has to be her, her husband, has to be the Baal. It can't be somebody else. Somebody else can't be the Baal Some, to do it. A Baal. But if it wasn't for the fact that he was not the husband, he would be able to revoke these vows, even though he, they, they weren't heard yet. Right? But nevertheless, but if it wasn't for that, then he, he would have been able to, right? He would have been able to go ahead and revoke it. So how could he go ahead and revoke it? He, he, he didn't hear it. So it must be that you don't have to go ahead and hear it in order to revoke it, right? It's only because the, 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 the limit of the Pasuk of he it has to be the husband. If it was the husband who made that statement, the Chayra would work. So our answer is once again, made for love. So once again, we're talking about over here where he says, no, when he hears it, that's when it's revoked. He says, okay, so why doesn't he go ahead and when he hears it, then he revokes it. So who's ever did one matrida? So uh, matrida, no. Perhaps he'll be tired during that time he won't be able to revoke it. So therefore he's taking the statement now, only that when he hears it later on, he sh- it should be revoked. All right, we'll stop here. Tomorrow, Mr. Shem, we will uh, pick up from where we left off.